Hi guys, I'm Faith and we are here at the Developmental Services Center of Champaign-Urbana and I am with two OTs, Katie and Camille. Um, we just had a lot of fun with a few consumers at their center working with Developcon and we thought we would chat to share a few thoughts. Thank you guys so much sure. for your time. Yeah, thank you. Um, the first thing I noticed when I walked in here was this lovely little guy in the back so I would love to hear your thoughts on what you've been doing in terms of rebounding with everybody at this facility thus far and, and how you found rebounding and how it's worked well with your consumers. Well, our consumers here have um, special needs. Uh, many are on the autism spectrum, mm -hmm. which means they crave proprioceptive input. Mm -hmm. Many times it's weight bearing through uh, treadmill use or um, jumping or trying to use that trampoline we have here. Um, <laughs> And we find that many of our folks love the jumping, but we are unsure of letting them use this when it's not very safe for them. Just trying to get this um, input into their day as a scheduled routine. You know, we try to recommend this trampoline, but then, yeah, sometimes the reverberation can cause uh, joint pain, hips, knees, ankles. Um, and then that's kind of outweighing the benefit of the actual sensory input. Got it. Once they have that input, they're then order, able to participate more in groups, um, um, do more work activities, be more be, productive, be more productive, be more social with peers and staff, just because they have a calmed effect and their brain is basically more organized. So we really think it's beneficial to do throughout the day. You can't overdo proprioceptive input. You can't get too much of it in your system compared to some other sensory inputs. So we just finished jumping around with Ronnie and now he's gonna go back. It's, he's gonna have a little cup of coffee and yeah, I'm sure that he's gonna get right back to work and get a bunch of stuff done. And at this site, yeah. they do earn paychecks. So yeah. the more productive they can be then, the more they um, get on their paycheck. Uh, did you find that in working with the bungees and the bellicon that those went away with our experience Yes, today. definitely. And uh, we were jumping on these for an hour and a half prior to that, and yeah, and um, no pain. So a lot of our guys are nonverbal too, so they're not able to immediately or even recognize that that's an issue. Um, so that's, you know, it's great to just be able to prevent it before it happens. Absolutely. Absolutely. This was so much fun working with um, Ronnie and Emily today. Yeah. Um, moving forward, do you feel like you guys have a few tools and ideas in, in using the Bellicon? And Absolutely. I'm super excited that we get to. Uh, I can't wait to do partner stuff uh, with folks. It's going to be great. Awesome. Thank you guys so much Thank for you. letting us um, sneak in and for yeah. letting us play today. This was fantastic. Thank was you guys. Thanks.